Developers of new eVTOL aircraft say they expect these to open up new ways of moving around and between crowded cities. They could also be used for cargo deliveries and emergency medical support. But if predictions of many thousands of aircraft entering service from 2025 onwards prove to be true, that's going to mean having to recruit and train large numbers of pilots at a time when the air transport industry is already facing a skills shortage. This has prompted companies like L3 Harris to come up with new ways to prepare pilots of the future for so-called advanced air mobility operations. What we have right here is a simulation that actually starts at Los Angeles uh, at LAX on one of the runways. And it's a quick demonstration on a few minute flight to downtown Los Angeles. So we can lift off into a hover and with unified flight controls, there's no rudder pedals. So if I want to point in any given direction, like a, a pedal turn would be in a helicopter, I can just simply twist the control and scepter and I can point the vehicle in any direction that I like. The expectation is that the new eVTOL vehicles will have simplified flight controls that will make them easier to operate than existing helicopters and airplanes. Part of the unified control concept is it's trajectory based and I just need to point the aircraft where I want it to go and tell the system the speed I want to do it at and I can pretty much let go of the controls and it'll stay there. There's some envelope protection built into that. Again, this is a generic model but I can go backwards just by asking for an aft acceleration up to about 10 knots. And I can accelerate forward too. So we'll just accelerate forward here and climb away. We'll ask for 60 knots here. In the middle of the HUD, which I think you can see on the screen is a flight path symbol that uh, through our NASA developed highway in the sky technology, I can simply fly the flight path through the through the virtual boxes, and that's where the, the aircraft's gonna go. And as I accelerate and we get more wingborne lift, those lift rotors will begin to reduce power and even shut down at some point. So we're transitioning now to a completely wingborne aircraft, and now we're on the wing just like an airplane. And I can't stress enough the intuitiveness of this display, the stability of the flight control system. Obviously I can take my hands off and it's gonna to continue to do what I asked it to do until I make a change. With the VR headset, I have nearly a full 360 degree view of everything around me. Uh, not quite through the floor, but we've configured this head down display, nav display to also change to a downward looking camera, which is fairly inclusive a lot of the concepts that are out there. So as I get close to hovering, I can look at the display and actually see what's directly beneath me. And we've designed a path here that'll allow us to navigate through the urban environment a little bit to a, a helipad that's on top of a hospital in Los Angeles. As this particular vehicle model slows down through about 80 knots, it transitions off a wingborne flight and now to the lift rotors and starts to enter that VTOL mode. Here's our helipad. And we're downtown. L3 has employed the same computing power and graphics capabilities for the EVATOL training device as it uses to produce full flight simulators for much larger and more complex airliners and military aircraft. One of the nice things about, and you'll see it on this display, because of the graphics and the realism, if we wanted to simulate an emergency or a problem, we could even simply just land in a soccer field. The regulations and requirements covering the training of flight crew for new EVATOL aircraft have yet to be fully defined. Some companies are suggesting that simplified operating technology will mean that pilots will not need as much experience as they do for current aircraft. But despite increased automation, most of the new vehicles are, at least initially, intended to be operated by a human on board. And that's where this new training technology comes in. While well, FutureFlight is closely following the path to the launch of commercial EVATOL aircraft operations, our reporters are going in depth to cover the issues involved and how these are being addressed. So keep coming back to our platform for our exceptional news coverage of this exciting part of the aviation industry. And thanks for watching.